I'm going to just start off today by talking about just kind of eating, you know, recipes on a budget. My nonprofit Fair Meals, which I really started to help families kind of on a budget to create meal solutions, healthy, affordable meal solutions. So that's really, you know, my expertise. That's what I'm really all about. So I'm really happy to be talking about that really quickly with you this morning. So there, there's so many ways that we can eat on a budget, right? So we can use, obviously there's the ingredients we use. That's the first thing that I would talk about. So canned, canned chickpeas, canned beans, canned, you know, tunas and salmons, things like that. These are really, really affordable ingredients and they can really help us make either whole meals or parts of our meals. So, you know, having things like that stocked in our refrigerator, right? That having tuna, let's say, you know, easy to whip up, whip up some tuna, put it in a salad, make a sandwich, add some veggies on top of that. There's so much we can do with canned, also frozen fruits and vegetables. I know frozen strawberries right now. I don't know if many of you have seen the news from a few of the stores hitting Costco and Trader Joe's and maybe one more. Some of it was linked to hepatitis A. So I'd stay away from that right now until that kind of leaves the news cycle. But frozen fruits or vegetables are also very, very affordable. Stay in our freezer for a long, long time. We can use them in soups, stews, you know, smoothies. I take out, you know, broccoli all the time. I'll kind of let it defrost. I'll take out some of the water and I'll roast that if it's a last minute thing. Same thing with cauliflower. So there's a lot that you can do. And frozen vegetables actually are great because they really do maintain a lot of the nutrients, most of the nutrients, because they're frozen at peak ripeness. So all of those nutrients are really in there. So it's a really, really great alternative to fresh. Another way that we can, another thing that we can do is if we are using, you know, ingredients that maybe are a little bit more expensive, you know, for a specific meal, right? We, we we're having, you know, a nice dinner party and we're having people over and we want to kind of make, you know, something a little bit nicer. There's a lot that we can do. So we can use, you know, leftovers, right? We can either eat it the same way we made it or we can repurpose leftovers or we can kind of put some stuff in the freezer, right? If we make something that freezes well, we can put in the freezer. And that's also a really, really great way to to save money, right? Because we're, we're, we're essentially cutting down the ingredients we need to buy for another meal. So there's really a lot that we can do. And, you know, there's so many more tips and tricks, you know, in order to eat well on a budget. 